I know this is going to be hard that, that I'm going to ask you about, but uh, you told me that you were raped. And uh, I'm, I'm so, so sorry to hear that. Uh, can, you, can you tell us that story? Well, you validated it when you said that you... There was another drugged. woman that told me four or five yeah. years ago that, that she was drugged and raped and she was reporting people about yeah. it. This isn't the only, one, only woman I've talked to that told me she was drugged and raped and she's reporting people yeah, mad. It's after my youngest son left the house. I was alone. And I would find different pills in my pill bottle that weren't mine because I was taking prescription. And I'd find pills on the table that weren't mine. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, that's not, and I couldn't identify them. And I'm a nurse, she just don't take something. But in the middle of the night sometimes, I was on a sleep aid and I'd try to take it, but I used to use cough one like that. feels different, it tastes different. It's a different mm -hmm. thing. And... I could just tell you, like in a twilight zone state, that there were two men. Two men. Two men. Yeah, I was trying to move. I was trying. I knew what was happening. And you, you can't respond. You can't talk. We can overpower you. And it was on my stomach. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. But the next day, I didn't have a doctor's appointment already scheduled. You didn't, call, you didn't call the police because of no. the because the police already no. called you crazy yeah. and you knew better than do that. I had bruises on my thighs, fingerprint bruises on my thighs. And when I got up, you know, there's people, women have a vaginal discharge, but after you have sexual intercourse without protection, it'll run down your leg. So I got up, I had this copious amount run down my leg a lot. And you wipe it, you know what it is, and I saved the tissue and I put it in my underwear. So I had an appointment and I'm like it was a twilight zone, but she knew what happened. And I talked to my nurse practitioner. I said, can you do a vaginal? She said, we don't do that here. She said, why? I said, I think something might happen. She said, what are you talking about? I'm like, I don't know, because I don't. At this point, the beat down is so severe. No, what you say, you're lying, you're crazy. So I pulled my pants down in a little area, and I showed her the bruises. She said, you just bruises. I said, no, these are fingerprints on my thighs and I said I got up and it just ran down my well, I was just normal I said I'm 58 <laughs> no, I got a hysterectomy no it's not and she goes what are you trying to say and I just started crying I said nothing I'm sorry because you you just like is it gonna that's why I left it's like who's gonna stop them from doing it again what they were recently banging on your door in your in, in your bedroom door. <laughs> let me let, let me stop the camera for a minute. 